Hi, hey, Craig. I'm going to try and s summarize this pocket checking operation for you a little bit. <coughs> First of all, I'm a bit confused how you got from this drawing to this, because those are completely different tool paths. Anyway, basically, if it doesn't look right in the in the previewer, it's not going to look right on the actual cut. So, let's open your actual file. There it is. Now, while SketchUp has got a 3D mode, let's just completely ignore that for the moment. Um, let me just take some measurements here. We've got three quarter inch plywood. But how deep are you making the cut? So you want a half inch deep cut. All right. So select that top face. Uh, okay. Select that top face. Control C to copy it. Control V to paste it. I just paste it over there. Right. It should be on the X Y plane. Let's just make sure that it is. Right click, black edge, black and selected edges. All right. Now <coughs> let's move the safe area. There. It should really be a little bit bigger than your piece of material. And remember that your x0, y0 point is here where this bottom left corner is. Okay? So now we need to cut that half an inch deep. So, settings. I prefer to do it this way because it's more accurate. I set the material thickness to half an inch. I set, and I will just now set the pocketing depth to 100%. The diameter is quarter inch. Plunge rate, let's go slower, going straight down into the work. Um, let's go for a 1 16th multipass depth. Do not need 3D turned on. You only need multipass. Let's not do that because it confuses the video player. Okay. That should do it. Now. <clears throat> We've told it the material thickness is half an inch. That means that when we do a pocket, and if you look at the bottom right hand corner here, 100% deep pocket will be half an inch deep. Click. We've got a pocket. Generate G current. Display that. And there you have one sixteen inch multi pass. So it's going to do multiple passes down to half an inch deep. And it will do the zigzag before it does the outline. Let's just 
check if we've got sensible numbers here. All looks pretty good. That's it. Job done.